Cruise Lady here. I am so excited about my Maiden YouTube video and it's on the topic of two of my very, very favorite things. First of all, of course, cruising, but second, shopping at the dollar store. I made up the ultimate shopping list for you guys of 48 items that you can buy at the dollar store for your next cruise. Look at that. All of that is available at thecrazycruiselady.com. I'll leave a link in the comments below for you to uh, follow where you can download and print your very own shopping list. I'm gonna head over to the dollar store and see what I can find for an upcoming cruise. Oh, also, one more thing, because I know this is gonna come up in the comments and I do not want angry people. Every dollar store is different. Some dollar stores have really amazing selections. Other dollar stores are more limited. This is just a list of things you could potentially find at a dollar store that I have seen in the past. There's no way you're gonna find all of these items at your Dollar Tree in one trip. Keep your expectations low. Manage expectations for a happy and successful dollar store shopping trip. Okay, I'm in the car. I just pulled into the parking lot at Dollar Tree. We leave for our Royal Caribbean, Western Caribbean, seven night cruise, say that 10 times fast, Royal Caribbean, Western Caribbean, in less than two weeks. And I'm so, so excited and I am ready to start a little bit of pre-packing and organizing. So it's time for a Dollar Tree trip to get all of our cruise essentials. I am at Dollar Tree in South Minneapolis off Nicolet, which according to my friend Natalie, who's kind of like the Dollar Tree Whisperer, is the good Dollar Tree in town. Let's find out, see what we can find. in front of me I'm gonna go through the Dollar Tree shopping list and talk about why I put some of these items on here and share some pictures and footage from the dollar store here we go and I broke it down by section of the store because there's different departments in the aisle so first of all organizing supplies magnetic clips or magnets kind of like these guys here clip clip I don't know if you can See if that'll focus. Okay, fun fact. Most of the walls and the doors in all the staterooms or the cabins on cruise ships are made out of metal, so magnets will stick to the walls or to your doors. Which means if you bring heavy duty magnets and clips, you could hang you know, a beach cover up or a hat on the wall right by your door to grab and go easy access. Or you can use regular magnets if you have, say, like a cruise itinerary or a map or something that you want to hang on the wall paperwork wise. Also, so that paper doesn't get wet. Like if you spill something on it on the table, everything's up on the wall and out of the way because horizontal storage space on your cruise ship is going to be at a premium. You're not going to be able to spread out like you can at home. So anything magnetic to keep you organized is helpful. Okay. Resealable plastic bags. This is a must, especially if you're traveling with children. I don't know if it's my kids or what, especially my daughter, have this insane ability to gather tiny things. Shopkins, seashells, I, you name it. Bring some extras just in case. They're also great for keeping you organized as you pack. I really like the gallon size and then the snack size. These are also super helpful if you wanna maybe swipe something from the buffet for a snack later, because like we'll, traveling with kids, I swear, you'll sit down for a meal and 20 minutes later, you're back in your room and someone says they're hungry. Bring snacks. Okay, pocket organizers. I actually found these in the 
office supply section. So you can get like a pocket organizer, accordion file, whatever, to keep your paperwork organized. I got this plastic pencil pouch, so it'll be not completely waterproof, but waterproof enough to put in my carry-on bag because we have to travel with birth certificates for both of my kids and some other important paperwork. You know, most things are digital uh, with cruise ships now. You know, my set sail pass is on my phone, but we still need, you know, paper birth certificates, ID and stuff. So we'll keep that in here. I also got this cute linen bag. Isn't that fun? Stay wild. It's a pencil case, but I thought it would be really neat because it kind of has like a plasticky film lining, so it is kind of water resistant at least. Maybe throw a pair of sunglasses and headphones and head down to the pool, throw it in your beach bag. Or it'd also be great for jewelry and accessories. I'm pretty minimalist with my jewelry, but if I did want to bring like just a necklace or two for um, dinner in the evenings, run your necklace through a plastic straw, also from the dollar store we'll talk about next toss it in here to keep it from getting tangled. <laughs> Super handy. It's really, this is like heavy duty linen. I was really impressed. Okay, next carabiners. I did not get those at the dollar store, but those are great for attaching things to the outside of your backpack. Um, you know, water bottle, sunscreen, anything that has a hook on it. Binder or folder, this is optional, kind of like the accordion file. If you're still old school and really like to bring all your paper itinerary stuff with you, grab the dollar store folder. A plastic folder or a thin little one inch binder to keep everything organized then you don't have to worry about it okay next section food storage and dishes okay reusable beverage containers the cups on your cruise are going to be teeny teeny tiny like at the buffet for water or lemonade or whatever just get a water bottle fill it up in the morning take it with you to the pool on your excursion, whatever, stay hydrated, especially if you're on a Caribbean cruise. It's really important that you drink plenty of water. So bring um, a reusable beverage container, also a reusable coffee mug. Um, if you want to grab your morning coffee at the buffet, if you're anything like me, you know, one tiny little cruise ship cup of coffee is not going to cut it. Mama needs her big, her big, her big cup. Um, straws, like I said before, these are not for drinking. These are for keeping your jewelry organized. Take a plastic straw, run your necklace through it, and then clasp it, and that way your necklaces won't get tangled. This is, of course, if you're packing like a jewelry roll or a jewelry organizer. Uh, snack containers, like I said, you know, with the plastic bags, you could also get um, some little plastic wear containers to you know throw some fruit in throw some cereal in whatever uh to take with you back to your cabin or on your on your excursion or whatever especially if you're traveling with kids they get hungry at the most inconvenient times um also i put this on the list i wasn't sure about it but corkscrew if you're the type of person who brings wine with you on the ship so check with your individual cruise lines a lot of times you can bring i think it's two bottles of wine with you on the ship if it's not the screw cap kind you're gonna need a corkscrew sometimes your steward will bring it to your room free of charge sometimes they charge you for it grab one at the dollar store for a buck okay next section in the dollar store office supplies mini notebook uh i always have a miniature notebook in my purse no matter what great for keeping track of dates and times and things going on or also just for journaling if you want to do a little bit of travel journaling make little notes of you know where you went on what days and what you did so you can remember for you know your scrapbook or your photo album when you put that together when you get home uh, next highlighter and pen super super important every day you're going to get or every evening i should say you're going to get the next day's bulletin of activities that are going on on the ship I like to sit down with a highlighter because I am a visual person and mark off everything that interests me for the next day so I can plan my day and see what we want to do. I know a lot of cruise lines do app-based things now, but I'm still a paper and pencil kind of girl. I like to mark things. Next, a dry erase board or post-it notes. A dry erase board a lot of times comes with magnets on the back, so check to make sure you get the right kind at Dollar Tree. This is especially important if you're traveling with a group of people, you guys can leave notes for each other in your cabin because if it's magnetic, it will stick to your cabin door so you can leave notes for each other. Hey, I went down to the pool, I'll be back at five, see you at dinner. 
I'm at the casino, I'll be back at midnight, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Or post-it notes do the same thing. Um, you can also grab thank you notes at the dollar store. Great for leaving notes for your steward, your waiter, um, anyone who went above and beyond with service on the trip. It's especially important if you have um, like a steward who did a phenomenal job, leave a note for their supervisor because that can go a long way toward um, bonuses or promotions and things like that. And this one may sound a little weird, books. I buy a lot of books at the dollar store. Um, I found a lot of surprisingly um, enjoyable, light, easy fiction books to read. Uh, I guess I use my public library, but I don't necessarily want to risk getting a, a library book wet on a cruise, so I'm probably going to just bring a dollar store book to enjoy on the ship. Next up, clothing and accessories. Not like clothing, clothing from the dollar store, but some accessories. So you can buy flip flops. Um, it's fall here right now in Minnesota. So a lot of these items are seasonal. So I wasn't able to get them, but I do have a pair of dollar store flip flops um, that I use for running around in the summertime. Sunglasses, okay. Check out my new shades, you guys. Okay, a buck at the Dollar Tree. And here's why i have very sensitive eyes so even like when i'm swimming playing in the water i always wear sunglasses or when i'm playing with the kids in the pool i don't want to destroy my nice designer sunglasses with salt water so for a dollar i'll use these when i'm playing in the water with the kids or running around on the beach i also on the topic of sunglasses let's see where did they go oh here we go my kids are notorious notorious for losing sunglasses. I, they'll have them on one minute and I turn around and the next minute they're gone. So I got these little sunglass cords. We're gonna give them a try on this trip and see if it helps us keep track of our sunglasses on our vacation. Next up, a poncho, um, or you can get a travel umbrella especially for outdoor excursions where you might be standing outside for extended periods of time. A poncho might be nice if um, it does kind of, if there's rain showers or inclement weather. If it's serious weather, obviously you're not gonna pee outside, but if it's just a sprinkle, uh, you might wanna stay dry. Also reusable bags like uh, tote shopping type bags, great for excursions, taking to the beach. It's a buck, so if it gets sandy or destroyed or messy, it's not a big deal. You can just chuck it at the end of your trip. Next up, we're gonna talk about electronics from the dollar store. Outlet expanders. A lot of cabins are really short on outlet space, so you can't bring surge protectors. Most cruise lines have kind of cracked down, it's fire safety, no surge protectors. But you can get outlet expanders that are okay, so it just expands an outlet from one to you know three. You can find those at the dollar store. Um, mini speakers, great for if you just wanna wind down in the evening after a crazy day and watch a movie to um, kind of amplify the sound from say your iPad, your tablet, or your phone if you're watching a movie. Um, a watch, I don't normally wear a wristwatch and I use my cell phone to tell time. I'm not gonna be carrying my phone around uh, with me everywhere on the ship. So you could just grab a dollar store watch and use that to tell time. Make sure you set your watch, fun fact also, your watch or your and or your phone, set it to the ship's time because you don't wanna miss an activity or the boat because you're on the wrong time. Grab spare batteries at the Dollar Tree for any electronics that might need batteries. Also, don't forget to pack your chargers. A night light. So Dollar Tree sells night lights. And it, this is kind of, this is a tough call because like I said, outlet space is at a premium. If you're in an inside cabin, those are very, very dark. I would definitely bring a night light. The next best thing, these don't require an outlet they're little battery operated tea lights and i got these for my kids my daughter actually doesn't use a night light she had she swiped one of my i have battery operated uh candles and she's they actually look pretty realistic she took one of mine and she set it on her bedside table and she actually uses that as her night light so i thought this would kind of remind her of home when we're on the boat plus it doesn't require an outlet all right, next up, laundry supplies. 
You can grab clo extra clothes hangers. We're doing um, carry-on only for this trip, so we're not gonna bring extra clothes hangers. We're going super minimal, but if you have the space, extra clothes hangers, because there's never enough. A laundry bag or a pop-up hamper. I grabbed this little mesh laundry bag. Just easier to keep all your dirty clothes you know, in one spot and contained, especially because cabins can be so small. My Dollar Tree did, did not have them today, but I've seen little pop-up hampers. Great to toss in the corner of a closet and throw all your dirty laundry in as you go. Um, clothes pins and clips. Clo regular wooden clothes pins, I didn't buy because I had some already, but those are great for hanging up your, you know, your suit, suit, swimsuit, excuse me, hanging up your swimsuit in your shower. Most showers on cruise ships have um, a little laundry line so you can hang things to dry. But I also scored these jumbo clips, which are perfect for, you don't think about it when you're on a ship, how windy it gets. When I'm at like my local pool, it's not super, super windy, but on your days at sea, it can get really windy up on those pool decks. So use these clips to keep your beach towel secured to your chair. Next up, travel size laundry detergent, wrinkle spray, and Tide pens. Um, I plan on doing just a tiny bit of laundry on the cruise, even just hand washing a couple of the kids' items. So I'll bring just a little bit of laundry detergent with me. Wrinkle spray is an absolute must because I hardly want to iron when I'm at home. I'm definitely not going to want to on a cruise ship. Plus, there aren't irons in your cabins like there would be in a regular hotel room. Uh, there's usually shared laundry facilities, if there's laundry at all, or just an ironing board, an iron by floor, and that can get pretty crowded and the lines can get pretty long, especially right before dinner. Uh, gentlemen, if you need to iron your dress shirts, either do that, like day one of the cruise all at one time, do it in the middle of the day on your day at sea. For other items, just uh, spray it with wrinkle spray. Tide pens because you know life happens and you don't want to stay in sitting for five days before you can get home to do laundry. And then finally garment bags. This is a little suit bag, a garment bag. Perfect ladies just for like those cocktail dresses for formal night. It's super thin and lightweight so it's not going to take up a bunch of space in your suitcase which is a plus. Okay toiletries. Dollar stores are like a haven for all travel size toiletries of every type that you can possibly imagine. I stocked up on some deodorant, perfect for carry-on because I think we're going to do carry-on only for this trip. I also grabbed some extra toiletry bottles, travel size, perfect for TS getting through TSA because they're under three ounces. Be sure to grab chapstick. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Toothpaste. Okay. You don't want to bring the whole tube because it's not TSA approved, but you don't want to bring the travel size one because that's not going to last on a seven night cruise. Instead, this one for me is 1.8 ounces. See, it's a little bit, it's bigger than the travel size, but it's not a full tube. So I can still take it in my carry-on. So mine is 1.8 ounces and the kids is 2.7 ounces. Perfect. Buck a piece. Check. Chapstick, do not forget to pack chapstick. Stock up at the dollar store. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of time outside and in the sun, probably like you're not used to. You don't want to get chapped lips. Earplugs, you never know what kind of noises you're going to have on the ship and depending on where your stateroom is located. Get a good night's sleep, just bring earplugs with. Shower caps. One, I use these for my hair, but also to cover your shoes. I'm a germaphobe about shoes going in my suitcases because they've been on the ground and touching things. And so I will wrap my shoes in shower caps before I put them in my suitcase. Travel combs and brushes. Uh, cruise ships, like I said, super, super windy. Ladies, bring a travel comb, throw it in your beach bag. Easy peasy. Aloe gel. I spotted at the Dollar Tree today aloe gel like wipes. So it's like a wet wipe, but it had aloe gel in it. If you're prone to sunburn, if you're fair, fair skinned, maybe pack those with. Um, grab aloe gel at the dollar store because the worst thing you can have on a cruise is a sunburn and it's just miserable. Okay, kind of on that note, first aid items. First of all, these. 
antibacterial travel wipes. Okay, these are not just for travel. I actually keep these in my purse at all times because I have kids and you know, before we eat a snack, we're out and about when I pick them up from school, they're little Petri dishes with all their little school friends. So travel wipes. These I like because they come in a handy little, there's three packs in here. So these can go, I mean, in a back pocket, in a fanny pack, um, in your excursion bag, wherever. Great on the cruise ship, you know, you sit down at the buffet. They do have hand sanitizer everywhere. I just really like the wipes because I feel like it takes like the grime off your hands if you've been doing anything, you know, sandy or whatever. Super handy to have. Um, travel tissues. Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. Just because always, especially, <laughs> I have allergies, always, always travel with tissues. Okay. Next, a pill box. I got this little pill sorter. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a handful of ibuprofen in one section and like my vitamins in a couple other sections just to keep some of my basic first aid items. And uh, first aid basics, dollar store is a great place to try, uh, stock up on like sample size. So you have kind of a little bit of everything in your first aid kit to bring with. If you need to buy first aid supplies on a cruise ship, you guys, the markup is ridiculous just bring stuff with also even if you never have stomach issues at home bring stomach medicine at the very least antacid there is no way that you're going to eat anything remote to your regular diet at home when you're on a cruise ship you guys buffets specialty restaurants ice cream machines meals every hour of the day bring antacids okay um, first aid basics, oh, over-the-counter medication, first aid basics. Also, you know, band-aids. I like to shop at the dollar store for, we get the cartoon band-aids for my kids, but you can also stock up on little pouches uh, with band-aids and antibacterial wipes and things of that nature. Okay, next up, entertainment items. These might be more seasonal in nature. Um, at the dollar store, I see them more in the spring and summertime. You know, pool noodles, and if you have room, or if you're driving to the ship, or like inflatable beach toys, especially inflatable beach ball. I mean, it takes up no space in your uh, bag, and it's great to have with you on the beach. A deck of playing cards. Um, check on this. I've also heard that you can get them free from the cruise line, at least on Carnival. Uh, but you know, sometimes you do have downtime, and you just want to, you know, play a game of rummy or go fish, whatever. Okay, stickers and activity books. I get these for my kids. Whenever we travel, I always get them a new activity book from the dollar store, and I try to get the ones that have stickers in them. This one happens to be a Finding Dory one, and it has a bunch of sticker sheets in it, so this is great. You know, if we have some downtime or we're waiting or for the flight there, super handy to have. Give them a little break from their iPads as well. Also, glow sticks. A lot of cruises will have like a late night glow stick type party or even just for nighttime activities, stock up at the dollar store. Finally, bonus items. One, door decorations. Not everyone does it, but if you wanna decorate your door, the seasonal section at uh, the dollar store is a great place to find things to hang on your door. Just make sure you bring magnets uh, along with. I've never, in the five cruises that I've done, I have never decorated our door, but I think I might this year because this next cruise that we're taking is actually for my kid's birthday, so I think we might do something kind of fun for that. Snacks. Okay, these are not for the cruise people. There is so much food on the cruise ship, unless you have like a favorite kind of candy or gum that you cannot live without for a week, you don't need to bring snacks on the cruise. You will not go hungry, trust me. But these are for the flight, so I grabbed some craisins and some pumpkin seeds, because we've got a late flight the night before um, and I'll pack some other snacks and I'll talk about that when I share what's in my travel uh, carry-on bag for the flight before the cruise. So look for that video. And then finally, my last item, this is not for your cruise, it's for after your cruise. Buy some picture frames and photo albums at the dollar store so you can share all of those wonderful memories and photos from your trip instead of leaving them trapped on your digital camera for years to come. That's it, you guys, we made it. We made it through the whole list. If you want to download and print your own copy of this dollar store cruise shopping list, hop online at thecrazycruiselady.com, follow the link um, in the comments below and get yours to print off. Until next time, happy cruising.
Bye, friends.